Hi everybody, in this small talk lesson we're going to focus on talking about preferences. I'll teach you how to use prefer and rather correctly. I'll also introduce some great phrases you can use when you don't have a preference and there'll be a quiz at the end. So keep watching if you want to improve your professional English. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Hit the red button and click on the little bell and don't forget to join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary newsletter with additional business English, words from the news and some everyday English for you to learn. So check it out. The link is in the description below. And now let's get started with the lesson. Are you ready? Here we go. So let's start with some simple ways to talk about preferences in general. Which do you prefer, beer or wine? I prefer wine. Do you prefer reading or watching TV? I prefer reading. Or we can also say, I prefer reading to watching TV. When we talk about two things, we use two. I prefer reading to watching TV. So we can say I prefer reading using the ing form or the gerund and we can also say I prefer to read using the infinitive. Do you prefer to read or watch TV? I prefer to read. Great, now let's look at talking about preferences in specific situations and here we use would prefer or would rather. Let's start with would prefer and the situation is talking about going for lunch. What would you prefer, Indian or Chinese? I'd prefer Chinese. Notice that I'm shortening I would to I'd. I'd prefer Chinese. This way it sounds more natural. Would you prefer going for lunch at 12 or 1? I'd prefer going at 12 or I'd prefer going at 12 to going at 1. Again, we use two when we're talking about two things. I prefer going at 12 to going at 1. So we can say I would prefer going using the gerund or the ing form, but we can also say I would prefer to go using the infinitive. Would you prefer to go at 12 or 1? I would prefer to go at 12. Great, so that was would prefer. Now let's have a look at would rather which is a little bit different. When we use rather, it has to be followed by the verb. It can't be followed by the ing form, the gerund, or the infinitive form. So we have to say, would you rather go for lunch at 12 or 1? We can't say, would you rather going for lunch, or would you rather to go for lunch? We have to say, would you rather go for lunch at 12 or 1? And the answer, I'd rather go at 12 or I'd rather go at 12 than 1. So here we use than and not to. So when we use rather and we're talking about two things, we use than. I'd rather go at 12 than 1. When we use prefer, we use to. I'd prefer going at 12 to going at 1. And now let's look at prefer and rather in the negative form. So let's start with a general statement. I prefer not to get up early at the weekend. Here we use not directly after prefer and before the infinitive form. I prefer not to get up early at the weekend. And here's an example in a specific situation. I'd prefer not to go to the conference next week. So prefer is followed by not and then the infinitive. Rather is different. I'd rather not go to the conference next week. So here we can't use the infinitive after not. We have to use the base form of the verb. Same as before. I'd rather not go to the conference next week. We can't say I'd rather not to go or I'd rather not going. We have to say I'd rather not go to the conference next week. Another example is I'd rather not talk about my salary. Excellent. Now let's look at some phrases you can use when you don't have a preference. 
Do you prefer Netflix or Amazon? It's all the same to me. Would you rather meet on Saturday or Sunday? I don't really mind. Whatever you prefer. Which would you prefer tonight? Theatre or cinema? I don't have a preference either way. So we can say, it's all the same to me. Or, I don't really mind. Whatever you prefer. Or, I don't have a preference either way. Three great phrases to use when you don't have a preference. Great, now it's time to check what you've learned with a short quiz. You'll have five seconds to answer each question. Are you ready? Let's try it. He prefers golf to football. Would you rather meet a little later? I'd rather go by train than drive. He'd prefer going to the cinema tomorrow to going on Sunday. It's all the same to me. I'd rather have a coffee. I don't have a preference either way. So that brings us to the end of another short lesson. I hope you liked it and I hope you did well on the quiz. If you did like it, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and don't forget to join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary newsletter with business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.